What up, players? It's Wobos Tay. Today I'm going to be looking at the box of Dark Eldar Mandrakes. And these are going to be the old metal ones that were out before Fine Cast. So let's take a look at what you get in the box. You get five figures, five bases, and let's uh, zoom in. And as you can see, they come mostly all in one piece. All you have to do is attach the left arm. Detail is going to be a little bit hard to see in the light, but you can see some really nice folds on their their flesh um, skirts. And I like their long hair in front of the face. It really uh, just just this whole model really kind of kind of exudes that Japanese Asian influence. The, the long hair in the face and um, like this top knot, the eyes covered by the long hair. So, um, just kind of more reiterates the that that Asian influence that Eldar. The comparison that Eldar, Dark Eldar, draw a lot of inspiration from the sculptors. Draw lots of information, uh, information, inspiration from like Japanese Asian cultures. So here's one guy. Let's look at the next one. Yep, he's got that curved sickle weapon. See, there's a lot of flash. Um, the mold lines are pretty prominent too when you. Uh, I'm not sure if it's catching on camera, but the mold lines are pretty, pretty visible from where I'm looking at it off camera. Still, the sculpts are nice, they're interesting. I kind of wish that the poses weren't so... Like, you know, I kind of wish there was a little bit more you could do with the poses. They're, they all kind of seem to have one choppy weapon in the right hand. And, you know, the left hand is supposed to be holding the witch fire. And most of the weapons are these curved... chopping... blades. There's only one sickle-armed guy, so that guy that we just I just showed you is the only one that has that weapon. Which is kinda kinda sad that the rest you have to arm them with these choppy blades. And here's this one's serrated so it's a little bit different. It's a little bent in the box. So I'm gonna have to oops, sorry about that. Here's one with the hair in his face and his mouth open like he's screaming. I don't really see many of these fielded. They seem to be glossed over in favor of Trueborns and other other choices, but oh wow, look, this one is really bent. I have to bend it back. Oh, don't snap, don't snap off. Okay, there you go. And I like these rune tattoos on their bodies that you could paint like they're glowing. It's an, Interesting little detail. And finally, let's take a look at the lowy bits for their arms. Can't really see what what it looks like in the light, but they've all got these witch fire things. see their fingers and the fire is curling around their fingers or around their forearm and that looks pretty interesting pretty fluffy or maybe not fluffy but just it's an interesting detail yeah but on the sprue uh, you can't really tell what's what and it all looks kind of the same with the flesh and you're gonna have to clean that off a little bit kind of figure out what these are supposed to look like. Okay, so there you have it. The box also comes with one, two, three, four, five round slotted bases. I'm going to put them together now and try to figure out how the bases fit, like if the slots are too big or if they fit nicely into the bases. Most of these models I've noticed, the, the, the tabs at the bottom of the feet are very 
long. They're too long for the bases, so you have to, to snip off the edges of them. Sometimes you have to detach them from the feet if the stances are a little too wide. But I'll go do that now, we'll put them together, and I'll show you what they look like when we get back. Okay, so here are my Dark Eldar Mandrakes all put together. Now, some of their arms are straight, and some of them are bent back. So some of them, um, th there's a little bit of an option for how you can create a sense of flow and a sense of movement with your models, but really there's not too much. kind of wish that there was, you know, different sculpts for the legs and the head so you could mix and match them a little bit more. And I kind of wish there was more than just one curved sickle-armed model like this, but still, you know, for, for, for what they were at the time they were released, um, these, were, these were really nice sculpts, and they still are pretty nice sculpts. But unfortunately in the game, the rules are such that, you know, they don't really work cohesively with the rest of your units or as easily to, um, to work cohesively with the rest of your units as, as other elements of the Dark, in Dark Eldar army might. But still there are some tactics I've seen for some Dark Eldar generals who've used these that, that seem to work pretty well. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the sharing of pain tokens, keeping them, um, you know, behind the, the rest of the advance and if you you have them scouting in the enemy's deployment zone using them uh, effectively and using them smartly rather than just kind of throwing them away but really um, I'm more interested in painting these guys up which what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save these for now now that I've built them up I'm gonna save them and um, if I do a Dark Eldar painting challenge like I did for my dwarves I'm gonna add these to that uh, rather than try to get them all done at once. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got a lot of Dark Eldar stuff still left around that I kind of want to lump together and see if I can get them all done, kind of like I did with the dwarves. So this is all. For, this is going to be all for this video. Um, I was thinking about primering them before, but I think for, for now I'm just going to leave them like they are. And uh, my favorite of these models are this one, this guy who's screaming with the bangs in his face, and, and he's got his arms pushed back behind him, and it looks like he's kind of running forward. I, I love the sense of movement with this guy. So... Can't wait to paint these guys up soon, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this unboxing video of the Dark Eldar Mandrakes. And uh, have a great day, we'll see you in the next video.